Hey, the Break Masters here. This is going to be my Legend of Korra discussion four. Uh, so basically, what I'm going to talk about here today for Legend of Korra is um, how lightning, you know, the lightning bending and uh, metal bending is really isn't as special as it used to be as before, as in the last series. Kind of just do a little touch up on that because I'm just, I don't know, I just want to talk about it. Um, Lin Beifong losing her bending and what's next for her basically, and uh, Avatar, you know, Korra going going to Avatar State possibly at the um, season finale. And I want to talk about who Amon can be and who he couldn't be, basically. I have just my theories. This is, these are not, uh, when, I, when I talk about what Amon, these are all based off of basically opinions, I'll say. They're not, like, strictly facts, but these are just things I've noticed within the series. So, you know, you can, you can back me up on some of this stuff, or we can talk about it on who be and whatnot. I just want to, you know, get my thoughts out about who Amon could be and who he couldn't, and, you know, what are your guys' thoughts on that? So, um... Yeah, let's talk about the whole special bending with the, you know, the thunder, the metal bending, and the blood bending. Yeah, that too. Uh, you know, this it's not as special as it used to be. Well, I don't say blood bending is, is a little bit more special as opposed to the other two. Because the other two, like, I don't know why, but the, the thunder is the most, well, actually no. Because metal bending is used a lot too, but thunder, you know, for firebenders, it's just like, it's easily done now. Like, what the heck? Everyone's, everybody's doing it, you know? And apparently Mako's like a, a master at it or something because it just doesn't make sense how he just and I ah, just able to shoot it so easily. And then in the latest episode, apparently this guy knows how to redirect lightning. And I'm like, how? Do, what? It's like it makes sense. So so what, Zuko's taught everybody how to do this all of a sudden because I mean, I don't know. I, like to me, they should have kept that little bit of a secret and then passed it on to certain people or something. Because if everybody knows how to redirect lightning, this is just gonna be like this is everybody can be on steroids right now. I don't know. Maybe this gave him that ability, so maybe that Mako can probably teach Korra how to do it at one point. I don't know. I just know it's just a, it's a little weird for the fact that he knows how to redirect lightning. I mean, the fact that the fact that he can do lightning is, is pretty impressive itself, but and really good at, at it too. You know, you have to do the whole and stuff. You know what I mean? The whole you know dancing and moving around. He just just, he just does it. I'm like, what the heck? But I just like it just doesn't make sense how he's able to do it so when and then, then I'm now wondering. Who the heck taught all this, and who is his teacher? Who made him this good? Because he's a good firebender. That's what I can say. I mean, his firebending needs a little more work. And but besides that, he's really, really good. I'm like, what the heck, you know? And, and this, and then look at Bolin. It doesn't make sense why he doesn't have metal bending. Bol I'm pretty sure Bolin can't metal bend. It don't, it don't seem like it anyways. Because if that's the case, he would have been done it by now, you know? With certain with within, with all these certain metal aspects that he's been going through. You know what I'm saying? So it's just weird that he can't metal bend, and it's like, why can't he not metal bend? His brother can fire bend, can can thunder bend, and also redirect thunder or I mean lightning. And it's just like the heck. But I don't know. I like to. This is a little weird how to see all that. The metal bending is not really much of a problem for the fact that Toph, we know she taught everybody how to do that. She made a whole, you know, division, the, the police, but the metal bending chief, police and stuff like that, police force. So of course there's gonna be a bunch of metal benders th there, which makes sense. You know they use metal bending more than a freaking um regular just um earth bending. Yeah, <laughs> but um yeah, so that's basically what it is. Um, blood bending is not. It's pretty special for the fact that only two people we we see so far only know how to do it. We need to meet more water benders and see if every other water bender knows how to freaking um um metal on I me mean, uh blood bend because to me not everyone should have that technique because that crap's not. That is not something everyone should have. I mean, at all the moves, at all the special bendings from these um you know. From each tribe, that one is probably the most dangerous and destructive and most powerful. Po well, possibly because of the fact is, you go inside you and control you and kill you. Because that's what he was, that's what um Yukon was trying to do to Aang. He was like, I'm gonna finish. He's all twisting on it. Like I said, I don't know how this was a like a TV Y7 show, like or or something. It doesn't make sense. That was like the creepiest thing I ever seen. He was like trying to kill him. Like holy crap, you know. But, um, yeah, so let's jump on that, you know, but what are your thoughts on the whole, this bending, like, why does everyone have it? I'm, I'm just, like, I'm just kind of surprised. Um, so let's go on to Lin Bei Fong, you know, I'm a little sad that Lin Bei Fong has lost, you know, her bending and everything like that. I, I didn't cry or anything like that, I was just like, what the heck? You know, they took, it's like the fact that they took out another big name person, you know, after Tarlock, I was like, okay, maybe, then, like, the team after Tarlock's gonna do something, but... And then she's next. I'm like, what the heck? You're like, you're just getting everybody. I'm like, I'm so, I'm surprised of how much, I mean, like, all these characters getting taken out, you know? 
and it just it's, it's surprising for the fact that you know it's only season one it's only the first season and it's like get you your mind your mind I'm on. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just like i'm like wow you know so i'm just i'm, I'm pretty impressed by the series for, for that main fact is that they did they but they go too fast and that's why i guess i didn't have the same connection as i guess everyone else did when it came to uh lynn i was just like it's a shame that she lost it but i was like oh no why you know i was just like wow you know more or less a shock that wasn't the best thing to see and then the, and then after that was uh uh um iro general iro almost said uncle i miss uncle yeah but uh yeah so it's just it's sad to see um lynn loser bending but i wonder i'm pretty sure she, she, she's not gonna just be irrelevant all of a sudden you know because i mean tarlock is now irrelevant but i don't think she's just gonna be irrelevant all of a sudden i mean she 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 plays somewhat a role in the series i don't know it'd just be weird her not being there anymore you know it's just I don't know. There's got to be a way to like get the um, bending back because if you think about it, the way Amon does his bending, and this I guess I could put this in discussion, is that Amon's bend, the way he takes bending away is way different than uh, or is different than uh, Ains. Ains, he puts you, he puts you in a stance. Either he puts you in a big cone thingy, or it gets you to a point where you can't fight back basically. And so that he puts two of his hands on you, he puts a hand, he puts his hand on your head right there and on your chest, and then bam, he gets you. He lights up, bam, and that's what happens. And so that's that's how he actually takes the bending away. With Amon, he just give me your arm, break it or something, or then just you're gonna take your bending just like that with one hand. So it just it's weird how he's only doing it one hand, and it's, and that's only to me breaking the flow of chakra within the um, in, within the body, which enables the body from which takes the bending away technically speaking, where you couldn't you can't bend, where it's, it actually is permanent. Not not necessarily permanent, but it's it's like a it's like a washable marker, you know. <laughs> you put it there, but you can, you can take it away, you know. So it's just they have to probably re-release their chakra somehow, and you know they have to be kind of a spiritual light in the kind of sense. I'm not exactly sure how they're gonna do it. Maybe you can reverse it by do, um doing it again on your head. I'm not sure. There could be a way of reversing this ability of way Amon is doing it anyway. So when Aang does it, it's gone because he's taking he's blocking two points of your chakra chakra. And, you know, that right there is probably blocking all flow at all. That's only blocking part of the flow. That's, I think that's what's going on. So, I, I don't know. But I don't think it's going to be like that. So, uh, the season finale for uh, Korra, he's, she's, people are speculating that she's going to um, go to uh, Avatar State. I think she's going to go to Avatar, Avatar State. And I think the reason how she's going to go into the Avatar State is maybe, maybe Mako ends up losing his bending. Or something happens to Mako. Or something like that, because she cares about Mako a lot, and if something happened to her, to him, that emotional state could make her and bring her into the Avatar state. That, or when she's about to get, get lose her bending, she finally gets scared enough or something to go to the Avatar state, and then she's like, "You can't do this, I'm on, I'm on. or something," you know. So I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure though. I'm, I'm almost betting on that the fact that she's probably gonna go into Avatar state at the season finale. She has to. She has to. I have a feeling she just has to go into the Avatar state. I just we we gotta see that, and it's like the season finale. They gotta bring that at least. I'm I'm just saying, out of anything that they need to bring, at least bring that to the table because that would be something to end off for this this first season. Because I really 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 love that, and I guess everyone's speculating on. I I really believe that it's gonna go into after our state, but if she doesn't, I'm gonna be surprised for one. And also I heard all speculations that Amon is not the biggest villain. Like Amon will get get defeated here, and then there'll be a totally new villain within the next series or within the next uh, season. I mean. And if that's the case, if that's the case, I'm going to be mad. Mad and just like, wow, really? You're going to just throw Amon in there. Make him this piece of a character. Do all this stuff, right? Get 12 episodes and you're done. That's like, that is like a kick in the butt to the fans. Like, to me, that's just, that's bad writing if they did something like that and just get a new, and get a new, uh, like a villain. Like, to me, that, that is just, no, no. I can see her defeating um, Amon because because she goes to Avatar State, but then Amon gets the heck out of the way or, or leaves. Because I mean, him just not being like being irrelevant all of a sudden in the next season was it would, it would be dumb to me. It would it wouldn't just it wouldn't work out. I wouldn't like it. I wouldn't like it. He, Amon needs to be in the second season and more in the season and just keep going because he's a very good character and he's a very he just you can't take him out. I don't really want to see that. You know, it'd be hard for me to really care and watch for the series just that like just like that. You know. And then he's just like, oh, I'm not irrelevant no more. I guess I get to do nothing. I'm like, come on. Like, this is, I don't know. I, I just, I'll be, I'll be mad about that. I, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that thinks that. So, I'm just saying. I guess, if it's gonna, if it did, if it does do that or ends off like that, I'm gonna be mad. That's what I'm gonna say. You know, see my reaction video if that happens. Yeah. 
And so then I want to talk about, and this last thing I want to talk about, and this video is going a little long, I'm sorry people, but um, who Amon could be and who he isn't. Now, I want to like scratch down some people who they possibly couldn't be. Because the thing is, I, I just was looking through it, and if you watched Avatar, Last Airbender, and, and Legend of Korra now, it still pertains to the actual thing. So basically, people kept, were saying Tar it was Tarlock, which is wrong now, as we know. Uh, people were also saying Yukon. Now, the thing is, I don't really see the point in him being Yukon. Like, why would Yukon be taking, why would he take his own um, son's bending away? Like, I don't, I don't really understand that, and his motives for it is it's a little different than what he was doing before, I'm guessing, but it just, it would it'd just be weird, it wouldn't make sense, he'd be older now, too, he'd be like, wow, and not to mention, then, he, what, he got his bending back, or maybe he didn't get his bending back, because he didn't really see him bend, but I don't know, it's, I don't know, it's just, the thing is, I don't believe he's even a water tribe, I don't think he's a water tribe person at all, he can't blood bend, he's, he's not a water tribe person, because I, because the reason is, if you look, look at, um, the eyes, the eyes of every water bender are blue, the eyes of every earth bender are green, there is certain exceptions to this, I guess, because of you know who they you know mate with or something. Which is why the eye color might change, which I then then that throws my opinion out of the water, but or my thought out of the water. But I'm just thinking, if that's the case, because if you've seen the show, water vendors have blue eyes. Uh, if you look at Amon's eyes, because you did get a close up to his eyes, his eyes are not um blue; they're brown. And if they're brown, there's only two nations that he could possibly be if he were a bender, which is a uh, airbender. Or a firebender. He could also just be a normal person because normal people have um, brown eyes. Brown eyes, just like like Suki, for instance, has brown eyes. I'm, you know, it's just I, I'm just saying he's just, he has brown eyes. So I don't think he's a waterbender because waterbenders don't got blue eyes. So and, and he don't have and he's not earthbender because you know earthbenders have green eyes. You see, look at Bo Lin's eyes. This is green. And like when it comes to fire nation, he's like his the fire nation eyes like like fiery fiery brown. You can say, but yeah. So I just I, I just don't think he's your cone because of the in that in that aspect of of, of thought you know I just I'm, I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna say I'm 100 percent sure this is fact or anything this is just opinion based I mean it, it just I don't know I've, from what I've seen from the whole series I'm pretty sure that it's not probably it's probably not no waterbender because of you know the eye color you know is blue and his eye color is actually, his eye color right now is brown so it's never his eyes never change color or anything like that so I don't know so um I don't think he's a waterbender which takes out your cone and everything like that. Uh, I don't think he's Aang. Why would Aang... Like, one, I don't get how it could be Aang for the fact that Korra's around. If Korra is a, uh, is the Avatar right now, how is Aang still alive? Aang has to die in order for a new Avatar to come, come by. You know? You know what I'm saying? It, it just doesn't make sense at all if if Amon's Aang and why would Aang be doing all this. He's the one that made Republic City, Republic City and do all... Like, he made us count. Like, it wouldn't make no sense. It's like, I'm taking it over. Why? You made it. You can just be like, hey, can I come over here? Like, like you, you don't even, why would you have to go through all this silly crap? And you, you just walk in there and be like, hey, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm back alive. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's just, I don't know. I don't get it. it it'd, be, it'd be too weird and it didn't make any, it didn't make any sense. <laughs> and it also, if you think about it, um, it can't be, uh, I was thinking it could be Zuko's um, son or um, May's son or something like that. Or, or Suki. Well, it could be Suki, possibly, but. I was thinking he could be a son of one of them, but if you think about what he said, he lost his parents by by a firebender and, and he got scarred. Remember? So if that's the case, he can't. He also can't be uh, Aang's. He can't be Aang's son, possibly, could because of what he said. Maybe, but people are thinking he may be lying about that, which is possible. Which is possible. I'm not saying it can't be. I'm just saying that it just with what he said, it would it would make no sense how because you see Katara and Aang, they didn't get burned up, they didn't die. They're right there. Aang, Katara's still alive. Yeah. Aang died, but you know, what I'm saying it just wouldn't make any sense, you know. But it could be, it could possibly be Boomy. It just, it, could, it could, there's a possibility for it if you know he was lying. It's the whole point. Um. So yeah, uh, I he could, uh, the thing is, I could, uh, he could be um, Suki and Sokka's son. It's, there's a good, there is a possibility for that because he is, he would basically be a non-bender with his move sets. If you think about it, the, the Kyoshi Warriors did move um, almost like airbenders, or they had a uh, mobility, they move around a lot. He, he does fight like an airbender though, which is pretty interesting, that's why he could be an airbender, that's why it could be booming. But, uh, it could also be from, he can be part of the Kyoshi Warriors, you think about it, you know, he's moving around like that. Kyoshi Warriors are very no nimble and move around too, and they use, they don't use force. He actually, the, you know, the Kyoshi Warriors use the opponent's force against them, if you remember. And so that's how it all went. I'm just like I don't know. It's hard to say who it really be, but I just don't think he's Yukon for the fact that he don't have blue eyes. And you know, it's just 
but like I can see it's just all opinion based, and I'm not 100 percent sure. I just want to throw that up. I just want to throw that out there because I want people to understand, like know this and think about this too. Because I don't think anyone has said this yet about the whole eye color because eye color actually is important with the series apparently if you pay attention to it, anyways. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, am I missing anyone that could possibly? Because I, 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 the only thing I, I like the one I'm actually like the bi the biggest thing I'm actually um kind of like going towards you like yeah it could be is he's a spirit. It would, it would explain why he was able to resist the blood bending, and it would explain a lot of other things. If you think about it, there's two there's two type of uh, theories. One, my theory was was one of them, which was it could be Ko, and he found a human body and was able to go into the human world, and he maybe he maybe he's experiencing experimenting with the human world and just messing with everybody. Because I mean, Ko don't care, he don't care, he's like that. But or or what it could be is that um, which was actually a really good theory I heard on some some guy's video. Was basically uh, when Aang died when Azula attacked him and he basically because he did die at that time, an Avatar was born. But since Avatar was um, didn't die because of what uh, Katara did, um, it, it, it banished that baby into the spirit world because you can't have two Avatars. It will disrupt the balance. And since Aang was already previous Avatar, it wouldn't make no sense to take Aang out of out of the picture and uh, take you know take the baby in. You know what I mean? So I think that's what could have happened. So he went to the spirit world and he maybe grew up and then he was looking for a human body and maybe he met Ko. And he lost his face because of Ko, but with that with that deal, he loses his face, but he ends up uh, becoming to be in the real world because he got a body. You know what I'm saying? That could actually happen. And then he's actually an avatar because of that, which means maybe when he does the um taking away the bending, he actually gets the bending or something. Or I'm not sure, but it's just like, like that that theory to me makes a lot of sense for 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 that you know thing that the thing to thing to happen. And his age wouldn't matter, and his and his mobility would be would be there. And like I say, all he had to do was get a human body. And which is pretty easy if someone just goes into the, the spirit world. And remember, Amon did go to the spirit world per se, and maybe he met uh, this guy and he ended up fusing with him, and bam, Amon. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, but that was a good theory. That's just how I liked. But who do you guys think is Amon? And what, like, what do you think about my opinion on the whole eye color? And what, what is your thoughts on all the other stuff I talked about within this video? Leave your comments below and tell me what you think. Like if you like this um, video discussion. And subscribe to my channel for some more Legend of Core discussions because I will do one more right after the season finale. So yeah, it's been the break mask and until then, break out.